Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we are going to knead the checkerboard pattern in a continuous fashion. And uh, we are going to do it on an LK150 knitting machine again. And for this project, we are going to start from the center out. And we're going to knead continuously without cutting the yarn. And this is a sample. I start from the center. You need the first square and then you bind off and you hand it back on one side and then continue knitting. So you'll be in a different direction. And after you're done with the second square, you just bind off and then pick up stitches in a different direction and continue knitting again. By keep doing that, we can do a continuous square. And you can see some parts are not attached. So after you are done, we still have to use a needle and some yarns to sew it up the gaps. But overall, this is already one piece. So let's get started. For this sample, I'm using my Lion Brand Mandela yarn. I like the color changing yarns because when you change the direction, you can see the change of the color in blocks. This is a medium weight yarn, so I'm going to use Tension 7. Each square, I'm going to need 10 stitches and uh, 12 rows. You can play around to see the best square shape based on your yarn and tension. So I'm going to start with simple e-wrap cast on. And we will need 12 rows. Now finish the 12 rows. You can see it's about a square. And we are going to bind off all the stitches and then hand it up from the other direction. You can bind off any way you like. I will do my usual transfer and need one stitch bind off. And first I like to take the yarn of the carriage so it's not too tight when I bind off. I'll just transfer to the next stitch, push it behind the latch, place a new yarn in the latch and uh, knit back. And make sure it's not uh, too tight when you bind off. And this is the last stitch. We finish all the bind off. And then we can see we were knitting the square like this. Now we bind off this top. We can pick up the stitch on the left side. It's easier to take off the weight. And I can place the yarn back to the carriage. So keep the yarn under control and then we're going to pick up 10 stitches total. After we bind off all the needles back to the A non-working position and then we pick out another 9 stitches and we pick out the stitches here. Because we have 12 rows so we are going to have some skipped stitches but that's okay. We just try to keep it as even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can do the end stitch first and then the middle stitch or the middle two stitches. Just try to even now a little bit. And if you pick up the stitch unevenly, you can always try it again before you knit. That's all the 10 stitches. Can push it all the way out and put the 
push the knitting back so we can knit the next row properly and we'll continue our 12 rows you can just pull the knitting down or you can add some weight now you can see our first square and second square from the right side you can see the different direction of the plain stockiness stitches and now we finish the 12 rows we are going to bind off again so I will do the same I will take the yarn of the carriage and transfer the stitch I can just put one weight so it's not too light okay now we are at the last stitch again we are going to turn it sideways to the left in this case do it this way and then pick up another nine stitches and we continue to knead the third square so after bind off all the needles are back to the non-working position and now we pick out another nine stitches so totally 10 stitches I can place the yarn back to the carriage hand a little bit of weight and then hand the 10 stitches back or another 9 stitches so the total will be 10 and then we will need uh, 12 rows and basically we just keep repeating that now we have 3 squares we'll bind off this one and pick up stitches here and then make the fourth square now we are going to pick up the stitches here so it will be 10 stitches total and you can see every time I pick up a stitch I do it on the left side so we are going to move the piece to the left side and when we go to near the end we can just pick up the one stitch and move it to the right side of the machine again so you have enough needles to continue knitting six nine so we have ten stitches here we push all the needles out and push the knittings to the back and we'll need another 12 rows now we have four squares it's easier to see it from the front side so it's like a checkerboard so this time we still bind off the top but we cannot turn around and do this side because it's supposed to attach to the first square so after bind off we'll pick up stitches here and then continue going and if you're not sure you can always check the front side you see the horizontal line that means we are in the correct position so this is horizontal and the new one is vertical that's the way it should be so I'm going to bind off and then pick up and then need 12 more rows now we bind off this side and I'm going to pick up this edge and I will have total of 10 stitches so the first stitch I'm going to hand it to the old stitch that's from the previous square and I'm going to pick out 10 stitches total so 9 stitch more plus the original one two stitches in the center
and the knee the 12 rows. Place the yarn back to the carriage. In this case, I like the next square to be on the right side. So instead of having the yarn ending on the left side, I will have the yarn ending on the right side after bind off. So instead of 12 rows, I will just do 11 rows. You can have plus one or minus one row. It will not make much difference. Now I have 10 rows. 11. Now my yarn is on the left side. So after I bind off, I will be on the right side. We'll bind off the same way. Transfer and knit. Next, we want to pick up this side so we can go that direction. And when we pick up this way, you can double check. This is horizontal, left to right. So when we do the stocking and stitch, you will be perpendicular. So we find another nine stitches and pick up totally 10 stitches. After we need this square, we can go either directions. So we can do 11 rows or 12 rows. And I will try to keep it consistent. For most of them, I will do 12 rows. But if I need to turn it to the right direction, like this way, I will do 11 rows. So you have choice. You can change your design, depends on what kind of pattern you like or which direction you want to go. So that's pretty much it. You just keep going, continue in circles. After this one, you can do this way clockwise or counterclockwise and keep going until it's the size you want. Now I have six squares. I bind off here and then I turn it to the left side again and pick up nine more stitches. So I'll continue handing back the 10 stitches. So I have 12 rows. I'm going to bind off again and pick up stitch again and continue knitting. Now I have eight squares. I'm at the end of the second row. I just bind off this side. So one choice is to pick up the stitches here. I will hand the edge stitch together with the last stitch of the last square. And then I'll pick up nine other stitches to make it 10 stitches. And after this square, we will go to the left and continue counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which direction you go. And if we do it this way, there will be a empty square here. This will be the last square. Here again, I'm almost at the end of my third row and my yarn is on the left side. So I can just pick up this line here for the 10 stitch and then continue knitting. So sometimes we don't need to pick up the stitch from the square because it will be attached to this side later. And we can just pick up the next square here and we'll hand 10 stitches and continue knitting. Here is what I have so far. You can see this will be the last square to finish the hole. And before you need the next square, it's better just take a look at the whole picture to see which direction to go. So you can decide where to pick up. For example, here, obviously you pick up this line here like that. And then we'll go this direction. And then we can bind off. That will complete the whole square. Sometimes you pick up the edge of previous square. For example, if it's like that, you pick up this edge and then keep knitting. You can keep going as big as you like, but I will stop here.
this will be my last square. Pick up the stitches. And then need our last 12 rows. So that's our last square. It'll be like that. So that's our final one, the back side. It's all connected, but you can see there are still some openings you will have to seam up. So I leave a long tail after I bind off. This is the last square. I start from the center. So this is not very difficult. You just have to pay attention to see which side to pick up for the next square. Each of the square, you can make a special pattern, maybe a cable or some lace. You can make this into a baby blanket easily. Just give it an edge. The I-core trim will be nice to knit even just with several rows of crochet. And for seaming the yarn, I like to just pick up one stitch on each side and use a whip stitch. And this is to reduce the bulk. And just try to pick up evenly. It will not be perfectly even because one side has 10 stitches and the other side have 12 rows. So that's the project today. I hope you enjoy it and see you next week.